Have you ever wondered how muscle contraction works? If you said no, we're going to tell you anyway. But before we tell you, there's some things about the muscular system that you need to know. A whole muscle is composed of a bundle called a fascicle. A fascicle is made up of many myofibers. Myofibril is the basic unit of muscle fiber. Ta-da! The sliding filaments are made up of two ends called Z-discs, two light I-bands, an M-line, which is the middle, and an A-band containing the H-zone. Mitochondria are found throughout the body and assist in protein synthesis. In the skeletal system, they are found mostly in slow twitch muscle fiber. Okay. A signal is set from the brain and the action potential travels down the axon terminal through the synaptic knob. The action potential passing through the axon opens calcium channels, allowing calcium to press down on synaptic vesicles to release acetylcholine into the motor end plate. Along the motor end plate is the sarcolemma. Contained in the sarcolemma are receptors for acetylcholine. When acetylcholine is reached by the receptors, it opens channels into the motor end plate. After acetylcholine reaches the acetylcholine receptors, acetylcholesterase is released to break down the acetylcholine. So sodium travels through the channels of the motor M plate and meets potassium to create depolarization. And depolarization occurs and action potential travels down the sarcolemma. Contained in the sarcoplasmic reticulum are T-tubules. Within the sarcoplasmic reticulum, it also stores calcium. When the action potential travels down the T-tubules into the sarcoplasmic reticulum, calcium is released. Calcestrian is the storage unit of calcium. Calcium reaches the troponin, which pulls on the tropomyosin, revealing the active site on the actin. Myosin leaps up, attaching to the actin's active site, releasing its phosphate. After ADP is released, the muscle fibers slide against each other, making the muscle length shorter. As soon as you kick the ATP releases the myosin head from high energy state to low energy state. It is then converted to ADP, bringing the myosin head back to high energy state. In order for the muscle to relax, calcium must then be pumped back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. And that is how muscle contraction works.